From the makers of the Eliminator Ballistic Rifle Scope comes the Burris Oracle Rangefinding Bow Sight. Built on a decade of experience with laser rangefinders and ballistic compensation, the Oracle automatically ranges your shot and provides an exact aiming point for the distance and angle of your shot. The Oracle learns your arrow's trajectory and can store multiple arrow profiles. Just press a button to calculate the perfect aim point for your shot. A built-in inclinometer instantly compensates for uphill or downhill shots like those common in tree stand hunting. For moving targets, it instantly recalculates your shot, even at full draw. The strong all-aluminum body provides durability and reliability in the field. There is no glass to scratch, fog, or glare giving you an unfailingly clear view in all weather conditions. Micro adjustments for windage and elevation provide absolute precision for sighting in your bow. A default pin array and a fail-safe 20-yard pin give you absolute confidence you won't be left watching a trophy of a lifetime walk away. Don't leave your shot of a lifetime to chance. Get the Oracle Bow Sight from Burris. Hi, I'm J.R. Nidlinger with Trophy Ridge, and today I want to talk about the new Hotwire sight. This sight features two precise micro-adjustable pins on top that can be adjusted with your onboard tool. And then you have your third pin, which is movable using the toolless knob on top. This sight features all aluminum construction, comes with second axis leveling, and a .019 pin powered by our three-position wheel stat light. On the side, you'll also see our sight tapes, which you can use for dialing in that long range. Today I want to go over the Tactic Hybrid from Custom Bow Equipment. This sight comes in a three pin or a single horizontal pin and 19 thousandths diameter fibers. The CBE Smart Mount gives you three different positions to mount it to your bow. Once you have the correct tape picked out, your pins can be set to 20, 30, 40 and your needle will be on 40 yards using your bottom pin as a floater. If you have a 50 yard shot, you can then unlock this knob, dial it down to the desired yardage, use your bottom pin, and let her rip. With the Tactic Hybrid single pin, you can just dial down to the desired yardage and you're good to go. Another cool feature of this side is it does have a gang adjustment and micro clicks. So you can unlock this knob, click it to the left or right, and micro adjustments to make sure that you're dead on. Adjusting the elevation on the side is super easy. All you have to do is remove these two screws, pick the desired holes, insert the screws back, and you're good to go. The Tactic Hybrid is right or left-handed. Instructions will come in the box if you were to change this to a left-handed sight. The Tactic Hybrid comes with a rheostat light and detailed instructions with sight tapes to assist you in making sure that you're sighted incorrectly. Another cool feature with this sight, it has the CBE fiber management system which is ever so popular. The fibers wrap around here to ensure that you've got bright pins. Hey, Mike Stroff here from Savage Outdoors, uh, talking to you about some archery accessories uh, today. Uh, of course, shooting Trugo Sight, Trugo Rest, Trugo Stabilizer, because these guys are making great products for us hunters. Um, the new Veros Sight, it's a uh, five pin with uh, DDP technology on it. So basically decreasing diameter pins. What does that mean? Um, with a pin sight, you know, if all the pins are the same size, which a lot of sight companies have done that for years, um, as you get longer distance shots in there and you're on those bottom pins, that 50, 60, 70 yard pin, or even a 40 yard pin, if it's the same size as your 20 yard pin, you're covering so much more of the target. Well, with this sight, as it gets, when you get down into your, your longer yardages, that pin gets really small. So you're not covering near as much of the target. You can actually pick that spot, still know where you're holding on it so you don't cover it. Uh, and make that shot. You know, you got micro adjust, windage and elevation, uh, and then of course, True Glow's fibers. So uh, super bright sight. And with that open housing, those fibers are able to gather so much light so fast that they just stay bright. I mean, it's way past shooting light and I'm still seeing pins glowing like crazy with this sight. So uh, if you want a great pin sight that's easy to set up uh, and it's got that DDP technology in it. So when you're taking those longer shots, you can really dial it in. Uh, you'll like this sight from True Glow first glance, the Tetra Max is going to look familiar to some of you. Uh, the Tetra Max was built off of our previous and popular Optimizer King Pin. So there's a lot of similarities to the King Pin. Um, in particular, or the most obvious, is the mounting bracket. So it's the same mounting bracket as the King Pin had. So you're going to have the harmonic dampener in the frame. Um, you're going to get the third axis knuckle 
as well as the forward yardage wheel. And the yardage wheel on the Tetra Max is still interchangeable just like the Kingpin was. The biggest difference with the Tetra Max compared to the Optimizer Kingpin is gonna be found in the front end. The Tetra Max is equipped with the Tetra front end system, which is an infinite adjust system. What this means is you no longer are playing a hopscotch game of unbolting and bolting the scope housing to the frame. So when you sight in and you're finding your 20 yard mark, which is the first step in the sighting process, you're gonna start with your yardage wheel at zero and fine tune your 20 yard mark by sliding the scope housing up and down in the slide. Another key difference with the Tetra Max that can be found on all the Tetra series sites is the new updated scope housing. We implemented a new integrated scope ring, um, which is press fit, it's no longer a sticker. And with that, we were able to have a built-in scope level, where before we were gluing levels in, now it's press fit in, so it's a much secure system. Also a key feature to the Tetra Max, as well as other Tetra series sites, is the windage bar. We've always had micro windage adjustments on all of our sites, However, on the new Tetra Max and the Tetra Series, you get micro windage as well as your major windage adjustment. So you can do the majority of your windage adjustment by moving the slide in and out and then fine tune it. Another uh, difference with the Tetra Max um, is in the yardage indicator system. So like the Kingpin, it still comes with the magnified yardage indicator, but that can also be switched out with a new aluminum needle and it's a much finer needle, uh, so it's actually 29 thousandths. So it's gonna be more precise and it actually sits closer to the yardage wheel so you won't get as bad as parallax in your different yardages. Another feature on the Tetra Max that was found on the Kingpin is the ability to illuminate your yardage wheel. That is an additional Blue Burst 2500 accessory, but it will mount to the yardage wheel and illuminate the wheel. Within the Tetra Max series, you get two different mounting options as well as three different scope housing options. The two different mounting options is what we call the Hunter Bracket, which is a fixed frame uh, drop down bracket that has the harmonic dampener. But then you can also get the Dovetail or Tournament Edition uh, mounting bracket, which gives you the ability to adjust the length uh, of your dovetail or how far the scope housing is from your bow. In the scope housings, you get three different options. You have an inch and five eighths, inch and three quarters, and then four pin, multiple pin housing. And any Tetra Max, the scope housings are interchangeable. So if you have a single pin Tetra Max, you can swap it out with a multiple pin head. So it gets you a lot of adjustability there. All of our accessories are compatible within the Tetra Max, so whether it's a blue burst sight light, a magnified lens kit, sunshade, they all will work on the Tetra Max series. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you want to see similar videos in the future, smash that subscribe button and make sure to turn the notification bell on. For now, that's all I've got. And in all that you do, we want to help you beat yesterday.